Good morning. Just wanted to hit you guys up before I go out and get my microbes. So I wanted to wish everybody a Happy New Year. Sorry about Christmas that I wasn't online. And that more than anything, you guys know how to get a hold of me. But um, I just wanted to show y'all my hair before I get ready to get my ever, my first set of micros. Isn't that cool? But um, anyway, here's my hair. And you guys remember since my last video about three months ago, since I've had a perm, maybe a little bit longer than that. I've had a lot of new growage. Back of my head, this grew out a lot. So really the only thing I've been throwing in my hair at the moment just to keep it soft is um, well, Luster's Pink Moisturizer, which everybody knows what that is. And I've been using this stuff right here, which is called Smooth Shine Polishing Hair Polisher. And this stuff, it really does the work on my hair. You know, I put this in my hair anytime I get done lotioning my hair or if I tie my hair up at night, this stuff really comes in handy. It's like $5 a bottle. You go to Sally's, get a Sally's car, it might be a little bit cheaper. And usually after I get done washing my hair, I use this stuff right here. The follow-up called the Smooth Shine Leave-In Treatment. And you put this on your hair, you know your hair is like very brittle. And my hair at the ends tend to break. So this right here is some really good stuff to use as well. I don't know, I got like a, I don't know if you guys can see that, but just a little bit left in that bottle. And um, that's all I've really been putting in my hair over the past week. And just combing it and brushing it. As you guys can probably see, I got some new growth starting in through the front here and all that. So until I go see my African, she's going to go braid me up. And um, I've heard some good reviews about getting braids, but I'm getting kind of freaked out because a lot of people tell me that if you get braids, like the small ones, they start up here on the front of the hairline. And if y'all closely look at my hairline, it's very dank, as you can see. My, my fiancé always cuts me up, and he always trims me up. So, um, I hope this don't be a rough journey, but, um, this is what it looks like before I go in for the next nine or ten hours, however long it takes, and uh, I'll hit you guys back. Deuces. Okay, so I'm back and check it out. What y'all think? And you know what? I actually love it. You know what I'm saying? I love my hair. Um, I got the best guaranteed results, like I said. And this is my first time I've ever had micros. And you can see where she ripped up my hairline, but it didn't hurt too bad. I'm a little tender. But you know what? It was all well worth it. I would take it down for y'all, but I just put it back up. But, um, I love it. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of salty because I got the wrong hair. I didn't know I needed human hair. I thought it was like regular synthetic or like, what is that junk called? Uh, start with a K. Chemical lion, chemical lion, camel corns or whatever the hell it's called. But she hooked me up with some 100% real human hair. Um, I got two different colors in there. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I got like a, it's like a light brown. Then I have like my original hair color. So, you know, I actually like what I have and uh, I didn't expect for it to come out. Now this, I'm going to let this stay in for at least till March. Because my hair does grow fairly slow. So, um, yeah, that's what it looks like and uh. At the moment, I do have a banging headache. Like, the headache is starting from everything from, like, up here at the top. There's everything at the top, and I am tired. But I uh, wanted to show you the results of what it looks like, and I hope you like it. 